All right, uh, I'm only playing um, Crazy Taxi off of this collection. And hopefully, I, uh, whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> That's it. Um, I don't like that OutRun 2016 was pulled off. Now, uh, I don't care if you want to hear this or not, I'm going to talk about it. I always was fascinated how Crazy Taxi was ported over to other game systems. See, at the time, uh, say, in the gaming press, lied um, and said that the Dreamcast was a 128-bit system. It's about as 128-bit as a PlayStation 1. Um, and uh, I don't know, you know, the, the truth is, is, um, and it's, it's simple to see here. Let's see if I got a screen setting. No, I don't. Okay. Everything's on easy, so just go right on ahead. And uh, I'm just gonna play this till I lose, so it could be a short video. The music had to be changed and everything. Go ahead and pick Let's go with Gina. More like who button you want to look at for however long it takes to play. All right, um, I haven't played in two, three years, three years. So not since I bought I bought this at Kmart. I know there's techniques and stuff, but uh, I just I just kind of play straight here. Um, mainly because I don't remember the controls. <laughs> uh, see? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Nice. All right. Would have been faster if I hadn't screwed up right there, but that's okay. That's, that's what happened. So, the music has all been changed, and um, I don't like I can't adjust the screen. That yellow border is annoying to me. Um, it would have just been better if it was just black, or maybe a replica of the arcade cap. Oh, the controls are much, much more twitchy here. See, I don't know if Sega did the port themselves. So anyways. The Xbox has a 64-bit um, G5 processor, multiple cores, and uh, the Dreamcast has an SH4, which is a 32-bit processor, and it is something to laugh at. Sega kept going with these, uh, in my opinion, inferior processors after the Genesis and Sega CD. Had they not gone with the SH2 in both 32X and uh, um, uh, what's the other one? Saturn. Because they went with the Z80 in the Master System and Game Gear. And, uh, this is why a lot of European companies just love sinking their teeth into the, uh, the Master System. I mean, that was really something they all enjoyed, you know, because they knew the Z80. It's also why a lot of stuff would get ported over to Game Boy. Uh, they didn't really have a problem with the WDC2 because it was capable of. Uh, Are you kidding me? Uh, it's capable of executing or at least code compatible with the 65CO2. And uh, so the SH series, which is by SH stands for Sega Hitachi, although they don't have anything to do now with the newer SHs. Now I always thought the SH CPUs, and I even did podcasts and blog entries and analyses, I always was under the impression it was 128-bit. It never was. So, real dishonesty. Uh, the video processor was 128-bit, but that didn't make it a 128-bit system. So that's how, you know, and also not going with DVD. Um, can a Dreamcast GD-ROM read DVD? Yeah, that, that's a good question as well. You know, can it read CD, but can it read DVD? You know what the mistake Sega made. Now, this not having the original music from Offspring and a few others, um, does it hurt the game? Absolutely it hurts the game. One of the appeals was 
was using Sony's Offspring uh, to do the music. And, you know, no Offspring, eh, is it really Crazy Taxi? Well, it is, but look, Tower Records is now Record Store, so forth and so on. It, these things is what hurt this game and upon its re-release. And then people who've never played this or they don't recall it or whatever, because let's be honest, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people who play video games are not hip to video games, or is it hep? They're not up to it. They don't read the magazines, which are glorified catalogs. That's what we're paying for, glorified catalogs. Um, there's hobbyist magazines, Pure Nintendo, Nintendo Force, and then there's catalogs. And that catalog is, well, you named it, Game Informer. It's left of EGM and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it, it, it really depends um, you know what you're doing. to have all that taken out and everything. And that yellow is just bothering me to no end. And even weirder is with good programming, see, see Virtua Fighter 2, Virtua Fighter Kids, Dead or Alive 2, Fighting Vipers, uh, not Dead or Alive 2, so Dead or Alive, Fighting Vipers. Um, and a few other games on Saturn. When this, this, if someone took their time on Saturn, then, then yeah, the polygons would look good. They're quilateral, not triangle. And um, it's the literal definition of polygon. Poly um, meaning four. Because they do believe in Latin or Greek, whatever that came from. It would be more like multigon. It would be more appropriate. Um, and I could be completely wrong in my Latin or Greek here, because I don't speak Latin or Greek anymore. I don't sit around reading uh, Newton's Principia uh, on my days off anymore. Fuck out of my way. Okay. Better normal than, than, than that. Now, here's where a lot of time and money can be racked up in this game. But... Um, you have to know the location, and then there's shit like that. I mean, there's no easy way from one thing to the other in the city in Crazy Taxi. Like, he wants to go to the bank. Now, uh, something my friends and I used to call someone who jumps in and has the same amount of time as you have left as a player, as a user would have left, we would call that an ender. Enders come in a variety of forms. Here's an ender right here. Not not a, an exact ender, we have 20 second difference between each other, but this guy can be an ender. Making me go all the way back. And this is something that the Dreamcast version though has perfect programming uh, for the uh, customers where they want to go and everything. This is for both Crazy Taxi 1 and 2, though 2 has different challenges, like multiple fares and stuff like that. But this one, um, this one, the Game Boy Advance version, Catch a Ride, the PSP Fair Wars, um, the PS2 and GameCube versions, and the version on Windows, uh, they all, well, they all have some really, see, I told you he's trying to be an ender. They all have some really, really weird choices um, about where I can pick up and take people. Like, she wants to go all the way back to the hospital. What she's doing at a baseball stadium, does anyone guess? So going back to it, I said, yes, this could be done on Saturn if, you know, somebody wanted to do it. It can even be done on N64. It could be probably done in an original PlayStation. It's just finding out how. But, whatever. That you know, that's, that's more of what if, because it is, in the end, running off of a 32-bit processor. And, um, you know, the PS3 and the, I don't even know if this came out for PS3, this Dreamcast collection. I'm only aware of it on uh, Xbox 360. Yeah, how am I supposed to go through a building straight up? gonna get there, but she's gonna get there in red. But she got here nonetheless, so pay me, bitch. 
So don't kick my fucking taxi, you dumb cunt. And if you don't like the way I talk, I really don't give a shit. You don't pay me. <laughs> you don't buy the games. You don't make the recordings. Yeah. You like it if someone says that. Um. No, it's pretty rude. And this is personal satisfaction. I can't stand it. Um, I can't stand working in a shopping mall, though I don't mind going into a shopping mall now. I'm like one hell of a driver. The other thing is, I've never seen, um, and I can be completely wrong, but I've never seen the end credits run right except on the Dreamcast version. I knew it. I went through that thing, and I knew it went the wrong way. Should have just went back through the mall, to be honest. So, oh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um... God damn, son of a bitch. Where's the fucking hospital? Yeah, it makes me curse. Do that. Hey, come on, you ender. Let's go to the crown arena. At the same time, like I said, I, I haven't played this stupid game in quite a while. And yes, going going back to it, no, nobody, most people are not aficionados of video games, so they don't know what crazy taxi is. They really don't care. Um, to them, their first game like this is Simpsons. Hit and Run. No, let's be honest, true. Their first game like this is Simpsons Hit and Run, so... Okay, um, and that was amazing driving. I'm sure you're gonna come I hope you enjoyed this, um, yeah, you know, I get a little foul mouth or whatever, I don't care. See, I'm right, they don't, the credits are always wrong. And, uh, that's C-O-F-F-E-E-B, uh, the number four B-I-N-K-Y at gmail.com. Copy for Binky at gmail.com. If you have something to say, you want to give me a donation, whatever, you want to chew me out for, uh, using the word cunt, I don't really care. Freedom of speech, motherfucker. So, you know, there I go, and that's it. Of course I'll put an explicit in, in the description, come on. So, um, no, I really, um, I don't like this version of the game at all, and, uh, you know, it could be better, it could be way, way better. Uh, you know, it's amazing how, how low companies go these days, and, and, you know, say what you want about Nintendo, they, they put an effort, they really do put an effort in some of these indies. Um, they put in the most effort they possibly can, and yet here we get, you know, just poor ports like this. Where it's not even the, the end credits can be timed properly to be like the uh, Genesis, or Genesis, Dreamcast version. I mean, seriously. So, anyways, uh, well, there you go. That's Crazy Taxi on the Xbox 360. You know, um, also, I don't care if these games are years late, decades late. Um, game's a game's a game. You know, I understand about staying current, new, and whatever. The reason people want that is they don't want to feel old. Well, you know, you're going to get old. There's nothing you can do about it. What you can do is extend your life as long as you can. And if that means that someone's purpose in life is to play every video game on Earth before he dies barring circumstances beyond his control, he shall achieve that.